This video is brought to you by thepuzzler.com. Here we have problem number 21 from the AMC 12A. We're given P of X, which is equal to X to the power of 2022 plus X to the power of 1011 plus 1. Each of the following polynomials is a factor of P of X. Okay, so we have, we're going to start out by looking at the expression X to the power of 9 minus 1. And the reason I do that is it'll become apparent soon, but we can factor this as x cubed minus one, so difference of cubes, times x to the power of six plus x cubed plus one. So I would like to prove that this expression right here is a multiple of x to the power of six plus x cubed plus one. Now we can do that by proving that this is equal to zero mod x to the power of six plus x cubed plus one. Okay, well, we know that x to the power of 9 is equal to 1 mod x to the power of 6 plus x cubed plus 1 because x to the power of 9 minus 1 is 0 mod this number uh, because it's a multiple of that number. And then if we add 1 to both sides, we get this congruence. Okay, so now we can rewrite p of x in terms of the highest powers of 9. So p of x equals x to the power of 2016 times x to the power of 6 plus x to the power of 1008 times x cubed plus 1. And we have to find this mod x to the power of 6 plus x cubed plus 1. We, tr we tried, we'd like to prove that this is 0 um, in this mod. Well, we know that x to the power of 2016 is power of, so 2016 is a power of 9, so this is just 1 to some power, so this is just 1, this is just 1, so this is equivalent to x to the power of 6 plus x cubed plus 1, which is equivalent to 0 mod x to the power of 6 plus x cubed plus 1, which means that E is a factor of our polynomial. Now, this might seem a bit out of like nowhere, but what should motivate the solution is that if you were to look at these terms mod 9, right, the exponents mod 9, you'd see that you get 6 and 3, which makes us think of this expression, right, which makes us think of e, and then multiplying it by x cubed minus 1 gives us this neat expression, uh, which gives us this nice linear congruence that we can use to simplify the expression. And that's actually a pretty common technique that you can use to solve these type of problems. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked or enjoyed this video, make sure that you give it a like and subscribe to our channel. For more amazing content, you can check out thepuzzler.com.